What's going on guys? In this video, I wanted to do a deep dive into a very special route that used to be um, probably the best route in Madden, and it is no longer necessarily the best route in Madden, but it's still a really effective route. We're going to talk about it in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I post videos every day that can help you become a better Madden player, both on offense and on defense. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you, like I said, to pay, stay up to date whenever we release new Madden videos. Now, as we're getting ready for Madden 22, uh, one of the things that I've been doing is I've been doing a ton, I do this every year, I do a ton of film study on past Maddens, um, Madden 19, Madden 20, uh, all the way back to Madden 12, to try to basically take concepts that have woven their way through the years that the competitive community has learned. And uh, you, you, what you see whenever you look back is this evolution of offense. You see this evolution of defense. Um, offenses that were being run in Madden 12 are still being run in Madden 21, but they're being run a little bit differently. And so this route, having Pat Sale, has always been a significant route in any offense. And so we're going to talk about it uh, a little bit in this video and kind of do a deep dive on this route. So the first thing that I want you to understand about this route is it does play and run a little bit differently depending on where you're at on the field. For example, if I am in the middle of the field, so as you see right here, I'm going to go right down to the middle of the field. So just like if you were um, to fair catch the ball in, in the end zone and basically come out to the 25 yard line. I wanna show you when it is in the middle of the field, this route is probably the best route in the game. Um, and just let me show you why really quickly. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to simply streak uh, R1. I don't have to do any of these adjustments. This just helps the play. And then I'm gonna drag circle and then I'm just gonna block both uh, of the other players. So a really simple uh, combination. I'm just gonna motion out circle receiver to the right and snap the ball and really all i want you to watch is this square receiver you're going to see that he's going to drag all the way across and he's going to get over the top of that 30 yard zone just like that now as you noticed he stopped kind of towards the end of his route and one of the things that you have to understand as a quarterback is you have to anticipate that stop now in years past you did not have to anticipate that stop the receiver would keep running through the route the problem is in this year's game there's only a couple of plays where that's actually true and if you have a 30 yard flat zone it actually stops it the beauty of the pat sale is it doesn't stop the pat sale route it's the whole point of having you know an unguardable route or what's been unguardable for years so now what i want to do is i want to show you my preferred way to actually run this and it's actually, ironically, I love to put my gun bunch to the short side of the field when running this concept. And the reason why is because the receiver, what you'll see now, is he won't stop running. So um, I'm going to just kind of set up my general Mabel coverage. And I understand that we're, you know, basically taking the rush away for right now. Uh, we'll talk, we'll come back to that in a minute. I just want to show you the route first, and then I want to come back and talk about uh, what to do against the blitz now you are max protecting um, so as you can see here um, you know you're going to have a lot of time in the pocket especially in this year's game max protect really is hard to blitz but anyway you'll see right here square gets over the top of the 30 yard zone and he stopped running a little bit more than he earlier than he should have but if i anticipate that that route will get over the top of that and with gunslinger with gunslinger and regs um, this route is so good this is probably my favorite scheme right now for regs is this New England Gun Bunch. And if you've not gotten my New England Patriots guide, this is the offense that you need to get at least right now. And the reason why is because it is truly the best offensive man in 21, but I can almost guarantee you right now that it's going to be the best offensive man in 22. So if you've not picked up my New England Patriots offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. I broke down every single formation from trips tight end to bunch to U-trips to ace close. Everything in New England is completely and depthly broken down in that guide for you. But let me show you this one more time to the short side, so with the bunch to the short side. So again, and you can do different things. You know, you can feel free to hitch this guy. Um, I actually really do. That's probably my favorite other option is to hitch this guy um, just because I can playmaker him into a drag, but this is really good for pulling zone coverage. Now let's watch square again. And basically, I'm going to kind of anticipate that he's going to stop, and I'm going to keep throwing him right at the time that, that cloud flat comes down. And as you can see, it's wide open on the sideline for an absolute laser. Now, I want to show you why so many bunch players have gone away from this play this year, even though it was really popular in Madden 19, and it was still pretty good in Madden 20. Uh, and the reason why so many people have gone away from this is what you're about to see. So 
the the big problem is that you know in general people like to run their gun bunch to the wide side of the field it opens up the routes it opens up everything for the offense the problem with that is this route is actually worse at the wide side of the field um, positioning now you can make it good um, but if you're just picking up and running this play this route is going to drive you insane you'll probably throw some picks on this because what you'll see is he's going to stop right in the middle of the field just like that and then you see how he kind of center steps now in regs that's a completion in but more than likely that's going to be an interception okay and so we need to kind of train ourselves in how to throw this route and when you can train yourself in how to throw this route this route will become to you i guarantee you because this is what's happened for me it will become the most fun passing concept that you use because it is so hard for people to stop this guy they literally have to user him the entire play and that's why i love this play so much um so anyway i'm just gonna basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna anticipate the stop see how we anticipate the stop and then we can basically use our catch over the top now another little thing that you can do with this um, that i think really will help the route is by utilizing a fade instead of a streak in past maddens we like to use a fade on this route but in this Madden, i personally think it makes a lot more sense to use a fade because of what the fade does so uh, what you're going to see is i'm going to leave that r1 or a fade or i'm just going to breed put him on a fade just like that and then i'm going to actually leave this guy in compressed and you'll see that this deep third will now basically squat on the play and now as you can see that's what we're looking for that's about as perfect as it can get because it gets over the cloud and once you see the cloud flat kind of drift in that's really where your angle um, or really where your your launching point is and again i just want to show this one more time uh, but what i found was when you pair that with a fade it does help the clear out it will sometimes burn cover three it doesn't always burn cover three but it will sometimes burn cover three uh, and you'll see here um, you'll see right there see how he stopped see how see how i threw that a little bit late i threw that a little bit late as soon as that cloud flat comes in and gives you the window to throw it outside that's really what you're looking for and right there i threw it a little bit late so whatever the cloud flat comes in what that's your signal to do is that you're saying it's a defense basically saying i'm no longer covering my outside responsibility i'm now coming into basically fill holes that are in the defense and so the hole they're going to fill is that deep seam so if you watch this one more time as you can see right there he comes in and as you can see that's perfect that's exactly what we're looking for if you can do that and if you can practice that consistently you will regain the power of the pat sale uh, which i believe is one of the most powerful plays in madden history so if you watch how this works here so i'm just driving back now real quick why i love this route so much i can throw the ball here we didn't even go this yet i can throw the ball right here right now i can throw the ball right here right now and their user in a gun bunch situation is oftentimes going to be over in this area of the field this is a very easy throw if you have gunslinger it's even brady can even make it okay i could throw the ball right here as a low ball right the middle third is being pushed back and i could throw this as a low ball right here right now I, as we drag across you see at any point in this i can low ball this in front of the zones at any point there's no one there there's no one there that's where their user is going to come in now right about here it's very likely because they have a cloud flat they're going to pass him off to the cloud flat and what you're looking for is as soon as this cloud flat see how he moved right there as soon as he kind of moved in then if you look back at the quarterback you see i'm winding up to throw it this is about as perfect as timing can get so i've basically as soon as he moved i hit the button and pass led it to the outside and now you're going to get this wide open throwing lane right over here um, and that is I want to say it's a 50 yard dot I mean it's an absolute laser okay now let's talk about this just really briefly against the blitz if they blitz you um, they might uh, like I said you know the max protect aspect of this we'll go over some other setups uh, later on this week but if you just run this simple setup right here if they blitz you the drag is always open always 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 open um, if they blitz you the drag is always open for me okay now let's just say for example that they take the drag away with their user um, if and this is this is such a good route combination for the blitz because you have max protecting the drag is going to really just kill any underneath zone but then as you see right here you've got that dot right there if they if they pump if they come down on the drag 
then you can easily pop that over the top of the defenders for an easy gain. So this is one of the best plays, I think, in Madden 20. Uh, in Madden 21 that really nobody ran consistently and I honestly think it's because nobody spent the time in the lab to really work this play to death and really figure out okay how can we run this um, a new way revitalizing old concepts is one of the things that I think is going to be really important in Madden 22 because I think you're going to see a lot of different things from a passing game perspective I think the crossing routes while well, they're still going to be really good I think there's going to be other routes as well that are going to come back one of the routes that I really think is going to be really critical is the sharp cutting pat sail post um, because it's one of the only posts in the game that's going to be able to beat man and zone uh, without really any any um, any uh, configuring. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my New England Patriots offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description. You can pick that up and start getting ready for Madden 22.